Good evening, VV Nation. My name is Ryan, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. Tonight, we have a hot topic, and that's going to be AI. Now, this evening during the segment, we are going to break down Microsoft's backed ChatGPT and compare that to Google's own platform known as BARD. Now, we will dive into some headlines surrounding these two companies. In addition, we will use both platforms type in a simple question and compare the responses. Now, at the end of this video, we are gonna jump into the VectorVest 7 platform and compare these two companies, Microsoft and Google, and see how they match up. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, stick around and let's get started. Now, before we jump into both of these AI platforms and compare the two in a simple test, I do wanna show you these two articles I was able to find. The first one is solidifying Microsoft's partnership with a new multi-billion dollar investment in the ChatGPT maker. OpenAI. Now this is not their first investment. They actually have a partnership back since 2019 with an initial $1 billion investment. Now these two do have a symbiotic relationship. Microsoft is the sole provider of their cloud computing power for the ChatGPT platform using Microsoft's Azure cloud-based services. In addition, the ChatGPT database only goes up until September 2021. However, with their paid platform is $20 a month, ChatGPT Plus, does incorporate Microsoft's Bing to provide updated data. Now, Google Bard's platform was a little late to the party, only being revealed to the public recently in March of 2023. However, it is gaining a lot of traction. And one thing I do like about Google's Bard, it is completely free. There is no paid upgrade. Now, this article touches base on the extensions of Google Bard, allowing the user to connect this AI technology to existing apps, such as YouTube, Gmail, Zillow, Instacart, and even more. Now, Google does have a huge advantage having many internal platforms that it can synchronize with. Now, some of the advantages with Google Bard that their data is not limited, so it does include current events. In addition, there's a much faster response time for prompts that require web browsing results. Now, let's jump into these two and see how they compare with a simple test. All right, the first platform we're going to check out will be ChatGPTs by OpenAI. Now, for this test, all I did was simply put in what is a good stock? And here is the feedback that it gave. As we can tell, it's pretty short and up to the point. I do want to say one thing, though, that it does give fair warning that their knowledge is only up to date until 2021. Therefore, I cannot provide specific stock recommendations for the current date in 2023. Now, I did go on to say that determining a good stock involves careful analysis and consideration of various factors, including the company's financial health, growth prospects, competitive advantage, industry trends, and overall market conditions. It's essential to do your research or consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Now, the bottom paragraph does just reiterate inherent risk by investing. So this is pretty simple and straight to the point here. So let's go to the BARD and see what their response was. Now, this is Google's platform, BARD. Now, this was a much more comprehensive response. Starting off with a good stock is a stock that has potential to grow in value over time. It is a stock that is well managed, has a strong competitive advantage, and is in a growing industry. Now it also gives us some of the best stocks to buy in 2023. You've got Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and then Tesla. So it looks like they're all tech giants here. Now below we do have several factors to consider when choosing a good stock. The company's financial performance, the company's competitive advantage, the company's growth prospects, the company's valuation, and your investment goals and risk tolerance. Now just looking at the two responses here, there is some overlap as far as like the financial performance and competitive advantage. But I will note that Google has more up-to-date information and in addition, the BARD platform also gave stock recommendations. So now let's jump over to the VectorVest 7 platform and see how the stocks match up. OpenAI's main backer, Microsoft, or Google, the power behind the BARD platform. Now we just finished comparing both AI platforms of Microsoft and Google. So we are now in the VectorVest 7 software. So let's take a moment and just see how these stocks match up. Now, to begin, we got Microsoft here currently trading at just over $366. By our metrics, it is overvalued to our valuation of just $215.92. Google, same situation here. Price is at $123 currently. That is overvalued compared to our metrics at $110.94. Now, the next indicators are all on a 0 to 2 scale. Above 1 is favorable. Below 1 is unfavorable. The further you get away from 1 speaks to the magnitude of that favor. 
Now the first two, RV and RS, look at the company's fundamentals. Now RV looks at price appreciation potential compared to a AAA corporate bond over the next one to three years. Now you can see both of these here evenly matched at 0.94. They have unfavorable ratings in this category. However, the other fundamental indicator, RS, or relative safety, looks at the consistency and the predictability of the company's financial performance. It's an indicator of risk. Now Microsoft does take the lead here at 1.39, favorable rating, compared to Google's at 1.28. Now next we do have our technical indicator, RT, or relative timing. This looks at the stock's short-term price trend. Now both of these are favorable ratings here, Microsoft coming in short at 1.23, while Google is at 1.28. So both of these stocks are currently in an uptrend. Now our master indicator, VST, is a combination of overall value, safety, and timing. Microsoft does lead the charge here ever so slightly at 1.22, compared to Google's rating at 1.20. Now our next indicator is also a technical indicator, CI, looking at price growth persistence and the ability to resist lengthy or severe price declines. Now Microsoft, clearly the winner here at a favorable rating of 1.04 while Google's rating not so good at 0.65. Now I will note, both of these stocks right now have buy ratings, therefore they have a master indicator rating, a VST, greater than one, RT is also greater than one, and they are currently in an uptrend. Now just to recap, with VSTs greater than one and a buy rating given to both of these symbols, it appears that both of these tech giants may be good potential buys. All right, now after talking a little bit about both platforms, being able to jump in and give the same task to each platform and see the difference, as well, we did go into the VectorVest 7 software to analyze both of these tech giants going forward. Now, please drop in the comments section who you think has the better platform, Microsoft's ChatGPT or Google Bard. And in addition, if you did like this video, please hit the like button and share this within your social circle. As always, make money, VV Nation. Hey, VV Nation. One of the most important books that I've ever read in regards to the stock market was written by our founder, Dr. Bart Delito, the founder of VectorVest. The name of the book is called Stock Strategies and Common Sense. It will give you everything that you need to know about how the market works, the cycles, how to value stocks, and it's very well presented so that you can better understand and get a better understanding of how the market works. Folks, you simply need to go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT book to get your free edition of Stock Strategies and Common Sense. Folks, you want to do that right now.